My name is Hobo Tom. And welcome to the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Review Show. And unfortunately, my girlfriend's coming over tomorrow. So on Friday, you'll be able to see her again. It'll be good. We haven't had a tandem wrestling review in a while. And I miss her. She's cute. Adds a lot to the show. So today, a little bit of news. Unfortunately, I, I did something I shouldn't have. Bad hobo. No live stream for 90 days. I tried to put up on live stream. Mix Max challenge with me just on the side. And WWE said, ah, ah, not happening. You are going to be sent to the sin bin for 90 days. No live streams. Which means, unfortunately, there is no live streaming of WrestleMania. But I've learned my lesson. I feel shame. And it's just time to move on. So again, because I had to... I actually saw the movie Pacific Rim Uprising last night, so I did not get a chance to see SmackDown yet. I will catch it on YouTube, and I will send you the review of that probably Friday. Maybe. But again, you will see my girlfriend. And that will be good. So we'll get to do a dual review here. It will be fun to see. So... The video I'm going to post up shortly, and well, of course, you guys will see it right away, but it's the very first NXT event I went to here in Daytona Beach. So that was kind of a, a fun thing. It was just really neat to see. It was the first time you saw it, and hey, got me hooked on, got me hooked on it, got me back interested in going to live events, besides obviously the big ones, but I mean, this is like, hey, for 10 bucks. One. I think the next seal I'll show you guys is when I have my nephews on board. I forget I have to take a look at my card. But, oh, I'll time just to go over the card. Oh, who's that? He's pa. Here she is. She wants to know what's going on. Poor little kitty cat just wants to take her nap. Here we go. Come up here. Up. Oh. Let me go. Okay. You just want to sit in my lap. Nope. There she goes. I shook everything around. Just cuddling. And wants to be pet. Wants some attention. Well, back to the real show. And we start off by the greatest opening act of all times. No way. Jose. No way. Jose. Versus Steve Cutler. And again, in this video, it's kind of show a bunch of entrances, show a bunch of entrances, and probably just a couple of picks. I don't want to have WWE kind of say no more videos of us. So I'm going to tranquilo, or at least keep it on a little bit. So again. The No Way Jose versus Steve Cutler. The next one, we this is actually before they had the 205 Live, so this is from a while ago. And just going to really show all the interest of the cruiser rates. It was Drew Gulak, also Soldier Ant. Noam Dar Wars. I forget if that was someone else. 
forget if it's a six man or or just tag team. Versus, I know it was Lindsay Dorado and Grand Metal Leak. I forget if there was someone else. Again, I, you'll, you'll see in the intros. It was a fun match. They did all the flippy stuff. Kind of like flippy stuff. Then we had an original Dan Matha. This was before he, he, he blew up and became really popular. Versus, versus give me power. Williams. I forget what he was. Well, he was Williams there. I forget what they call him now. I saw his old catchphrases. Give me power. Fun match. Dan Mathis just jongs people. Good at that. Now we have an early Velveteen Dream promo, or at least Velveteen Dream entrance. I think he got booed. He just decided to run the whole crowd down. Why am I here in Daytona Beach? You people don't deserve the Velveteen Dream. And then of course, Heavy Machinery came out, stuck him in his to their, to their body bounce and hey, it was fun. That's again one of the reasons why I like heavy machinery. They're just fun.
Makes me smile. And now we have probably the best match of them all for the card minus the main event. We had Sanity. The Primus music come out. And this was the first time. Well, this was the first time I saw him. And it was actually, you know, I forget the lead of Sanity. It was him versus Oni Lorcan. Again, great hard hitting match. And I think this was the first time I saw how short Nikki Cross was. I've seen her on the internet a lot and a little bit on the network, but more so on YouTube. And in real life, she's small. I mean, she's built, of, she's built as five foot. If she's 4'9 with her wrestling shoes on, that had to give her two, about two inches. That's kind of impressive for her. Again, she just bounced off people. <laughs> it was just fun to watch. And this was when Big Dame was there, or, or Killian Dame. Uh-oh, now WCPW is coming after me. Well, they're done. For and we will, we will see WCPW next week on the road to WrestleMania, or at least the road to WrestleMania is past. Yeah, this was a fun match. The one thing that stuck out is Alexander Wolf really does a good job of jawing with the crowd. Nikki Cross was outside going crazy, being bonkers, being Nikki. Ah! 
and just going nuts. The kids next to me started to chant, let the girl fight. Let the girl fight. Let the girl fight. Alexander Wolf comes up. You shut up. I'm the one in the ring. Pay attention to me. And all the kids. And I just laughed. So in these videos, again, I am a somewhat educator and scientist. I'm not a video person. I'm not a film student. So these will never be a film grade material. I think it was fun. Okay, next. This is one of the things that kind of killed me. They, they had Kimberly, who is my princess, come out as a heel. On the heel team. Six woman tag match. It was Billy Kay. Peyton Royce was ringside, but she wasn't wrestling. Kimberly Franklin. Which was her name of the team, but it's like she will always be my princess. And Mandy Rose. So, again, on this video, you're seeing a lot of people before they hit their WWE prime. It's kind of neat. That's, that's a good thing about NXT. Again, we had versus the face team of Liv Morgan. <laughs> Comes out, runs around crazy. No, 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 nothing like she is in NX in um, SmackDown. Whole different persona. Aaliyah, and then Asuka came out, and again I was so shocked on NX on the network on the internet. Asuka is this larger than life figure, and you come out, he comes out in a big robe. Again, that Charlotte Flair Asuka match, WrestleMania match. It should be a robe versus a robe match. But she came out and you're like, small. Like, eh. And I will also post the picture that I took or my girlfriend took of Kyrie Stan and I. And I guess a really cool story about that.
for the backstory after you, after we watch this entrance of. So now back to my story. Kairi saying it was really cool, and I forget if I mentioned this last time, but her eyes seemed to light up a little bit. When, oh, I remember you as Kairi Hojo. And, and she saw the picture that I printed out for my girlfriend's nephew to get signed. And she signed it, and she, and she looked at it. She's like, I said, I, I said well, I'm a little old. And I remember you as Kairi Hojo back in the day, and she was like, you actually watched me wrestle back then. That's awesome. It's that just real deep appreciation. I know this was a fun match. Everyone, everyone hit their spots. The next match. Oh, this was a good one because this is <laughs> before the Street Profits became the Street Profits. So they actually announced them by their wrestling names and not Street Profits. But they come out, do the whole Street Profit things. And this time, I got to see the Authors of Pain. The only bad thing about this, it's probably just, just locale, is that Paul Ellering didn't show up. And probably to a place like Daytona Beach, you're not going to get Paul Ellering. Paul Ellering is probably a busy person who's doing a lot of stuff. I know his daughter wrestled. He's probably more concerned about her wrestling than actually making a trip to Daytona Beach. I don't blame him. But it would have been cool to see him. I think people in the crowd were looking for Paul Ellering. And, it's like, and people were like, yeah. We're we're lucky to get the authors of pain. We can we can deal without Paul Ellering. And it would just, just would have been neat. And I I'm old, I remember him when he had the Paul Ellering doll and were and was the manager of Legion of Doom, Animal and Hawk. And I just remember how he would say, And here in Cleveland And he just said that Aspy voice and the way you said Cleveland. Again, it's an old memory. I think that was when they were in NWA before it became WCW. Again, it shows my age. Oh well. Again, fun match. It was just kind of a squash match. AOP destroyed him. I mean, what else do you expect? This was before they became the Street Profits and became before before they got hot. He's probably on, on their way to the main roster soon. Who knows? Might even show up in WrestleMania. And I'll put up a WrestleMania prediction video probably Saturday, Sunday, or maybe early Monday. Again, with my girlfriend, who will be here for that. Because it's a little special time of year. And, and we'll stay tuned.
do not forget to like and subscribe. Because hopefully it'll be someone entertaining. Now this next match, I remember this again. Probably not because it was a great match, but the crowd was silent. It was it is the debut I don't know if this is debut of Sonya Deville and Lindsay Evans. And the crowd went completely silent because they had no character. They just put on a wrestling match. They tried to do the yay boo thing. Like, hit me. Now oh, your turn. You can hear him call the spots in the ring. So, and I, I actually remember Lindsay Evans saying, it's like, what do we do? So, I'll kick you. And she's like, kick me, kick me, kick me. And the crowd would be, who do we cheer for? You're not really both heels. You're not both faces. We've never heard of you. The neat, the neat story behind this is that I actually almost had a chance to meet these two because for some reason these two came to the gym I went to. And the only reason I knew is because I went to the gym, I think, about 3 o'clock. I know it was before their matches it was well before the match started, and I'm sure the rest they have to they have to set up the ring. There is no crew ring crew, at least I don't think there is an NXT. And and I'm sure after they go go through everything, they have some time to kill. And I saw this one kind of skinny, muscular woman, but not bodybuilder size, but just really trim, fit woman. And the thing that I noticed the most. She had on the sports bra, spandex pants, but there was this huge tattoo along her side. And the one way to get recognized is like, I saw that tattoo earlier today. And it was the same hair colors, the same height, the same build. And I'm like, I saw her. She was at my gym. And it made sense because then I saw Lindsay Evans and I'm like, I saw her too at the gym. They were working out together. Oh, what are they? Well, you know why, but there's I, I still somewhat believe in kayfabe. That's that's in a discussion for another day. Again, the crowd was really quiet during the smash. And it was what it was. No one knew who to cheer for, what to cheer for. They were just there. I was like. I don't know them. Whoa. Then we had Kai Sono, which was the main event. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I do that, but 
He's actually, he's my hero. And Alistair Black came out as a tag team. And they took on Andrade Cien Almas. And the glorious Bobby Roode. And it was a fun tag team match. Hard to complain. Honestly, honestly, it was good. So those are my experiences from my very first NXT live event here in the wonderful or glorious yeah right place of Daytona Beach. Um, good card got got me really hooked to going to these events when I can. And again for ten bucks, it's hey, it's a cheap thing to do in Daytona Beach on a Thursday. Not looking at anything else better to do. So again, please like and subscribe to this video. Um, hopefully after 90 days, after I stop feeling shame and out of box.
because you go to penalty box and feel shame for two minutes. But for me, it's 90 days. I'll get some live streams up here, especially now that I know what I oh, oh. So I won't get Buddha out of YouTube and make people mad at me. Or have big people like Oni Lorcan and Lars come to my door and say, You can't do that! And start to pummel me or something. Demand money. Again, all I have is aluminum. Crush aluminum can. Because my name is Ho Bo Tong. And, well, this is a girlfriend, and we will see her this weekend as well. Again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you comment, I, you will get your comments written on air, as long as they're not from YouTube saying I can't do stuff. Or you can leave an email at hobo and his girlfriend at gmail.com, and I will put that up later. So everyone have a good, fun, and because I'll say, because I'm sure you can all see the cross in the background, have a good holy week, guys. It's almost Easter time. Yeah. Chocolate.